interesting times. I mean, one could not have predicted that this was going to happen uh, a couple of hours ago in the last 40, 72 hours. Uh, even though, yes, uh, Mr. Kisia has been, I think, uh, engaging um, with, with Joy on Saturday, I have talked about these matters. Um, I think most Ghanaians just want to get to the bottom of this report that has been long awaiting in terms of any proper investigation and people being found culpable. And if Mr. Charles Bishu to them is one of the persons of interest who can get us uh, concrete evidence and conclusions, I think it is the way to go. Mm. Uh, that said, we've seen the Office of the Special Prosecutor in the last a uh, few months or few weeks, if you like, being in the public space offing with a lot of activities. Does this, you know, the attention that it is quoting to itself, does it in any way put some form of pressure on the office to deliver on its mandate? Sorry, does what bring uh, pressure on the OSP? So what I'm asking is the attention that all of the country is paying to the Office of the Special Prosecutor at the moment, coming on the back of the arrest of Professor from Pombwati, will it in any way put some forms of pressure or influence the decision-making speed of the Office of the Special Prosecutor? Yes, in some ways, obviously, it would. I mean, um, many Ghanaians speaking up and find, trying to find out, I mean, uh, was the arrest necessary? Is this the way to go? Isn't there somebody who wanted to speak up uh, and publicly ensure that the writing is done? Uh, what about all the other persons involved? What level of the investigation? Did you arrest them as well? Why isn't the information out there? Why don't we see any real traction? Definitely, it would bring some pressure on the OSP as well.